In this video, I'm testing out Cloud Code for the first time, and I want to try it to build a simple web app that allows me to insert a keyword, press the submit button. The information is sent to a an N8N webhook, where there is a simple ChatGPT type of prompt waiting, and then we get to send the result back to the webhook. So this is the prompt I'm creating. I want to create a simple web app that has two simple pages. On the first page, the user can insert a keyword and hit the submit button. The keyword entered is then sent to the following webhook URL, and I paste in my webhook URL from a Nathan. When the user clicks submit, show confetti on the screen, and wait for the response. When the response comes back, redirect to the second page and display the result. Make the interface for both pages appearing and sexy to look at. Okay, so this is the first part where we're using Cloud 3.7 to create the code for this. So I didn't specify which stack or which language to use, so it's using React here and it's creating the stuff. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, if I go to my desktop, let's create a new uh, web app test. And once this is finished, I'll just save this and then use Cloud Code to try and run this and see what we get. So here we had an issue with router imports, and this is fixing it by itself. So let's see what we get. In the meantime, I also installed Cloud Code, so if you haven't done that yet, this is kind of part and parcel of the new update that Untropic just made. So to do that, just go to this page, which I'll link in the description, and you just need to npm install through your terminal, and then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you run into errors, just like I did, you can just paste them into Cloud and it will tell you what other stuff you need to install before um, that actually can be installed. So here I have the code. So what I'm going to do is just hit download the file. Look at the information right there. And obviously we can run this through Claude, it's Claude itself, but in this case, I just want to see if this will work. And there was a way to right click on this, but I don't see the option to load Claude to load Claude directly here. So what I'm going to do is essentially, I believe I, if we go to uh, CD desktop, so let's go to the desktop, CD web app test. And now I will list the files here. I'm sure if we can type in Claude. Yeah. So now we got welcome to Claude code research preview. Let's get started. Change the text style that looks best with your terminal. Sure, I mean, let's go with dark text. Get Cloud Code. Uh, okay, build based on API usage. Okay, pricing may evolve. Sure. Let's hit enter. And sign in. Okay, cool. You can now close the close this window. Okay, great. Enter to continue. Security notes. It's currently research preview. You can make mistakes. Only use it with code you trust. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Provide context. Do you trust it? Sure, I guess. Run Claude to create a Claude.md file with instructions for Claude. Ask Claude about your code base. Okay. Um. So let's see if we now get the option to right click. No, I don't see that. Maybe I need to restart or something. Um, okay. So run flash in it to create a cloud. MD file code based documentation. Deliberating. Okay, so this is create or it's going through and creating the gold base for that. 
Do you want to make this edit? Sure. Don't ask again. So we have the MD file right there. Okay, great. So if I were to open this, obviously that is just the code. So here, what if I say I want to be able to run this web app on my local host? Let's see what happens. Okay, so this created a package the JSON index with HTML, so it's creating the files needed for that. Uh, do you want to proceed? Yes, it's creating folders as well, so it asks for permission to do that. And in the meantime, let's just test workflow here. So we can run this as soon as it's ready. So if I go here, let's see what's being created. That's empty. And this is creating all the files needed to be able to run this. So the idea is you create the main code, I guess, and then you can use Clot code to build on that. Similar to what you would do if you were creating something in Cursor or Visual Studio code. Okay, crunching. So it took about two minutes. The development environment is set up with React. White and Tailwind for styling. Okay. So your web app is now set up to run locally. Run this and npm. Okay. So should I launch a new terminal, I guess? Okay. And then what are we going to do? I don't know if we can do that. I mean, I guess we can do it in one command. Allow. Okay. Let's see. Third V word, dog drink. Search now. Okay, confetti there. This is waiting. Workflow could not be started. Okay, great. So, at least we got something here. So, let's see what we got. Set the respond parameter to using respond to webhook node. Okay. Uh, respond. Set the respond parameter. Okay, gotcha. Respond to a Pokemon. Okay. Let's try again. Test. Go back here. Let's go back. Refresh. Try again. So that was user error or my error. This is okay. This got the information, did its thing, and responded. Okay. So let's fix this. Of course, this should be. Let's see, is it sending the... Oh yeah, here we go. So this is in JSON dot body dot keyword. Okay, cool. So let's save. Let's try and try again. Test workflow. Refresh this. Doc training. Search now. And we get the output. Okay. So one thing we might want to do is just ensure that the output is returned as text. And okay. Or we can just try and fix it using cloud code. So let's see. This is great, but the output is returned in JSON format. Which means that it's not displayed correctly as the whole JSON is being displayed. Please fix this. Since you know you'll be getting the info back in JSON. Okay, let's have a look. So calculating, so I like that this is all part and parcel of your terminal. Makes it so much easier to debug, I guess. So I'll just pause the video and keep going once this is done. Okay, that took just a few seconds. So here it said. I've improved the results by creating a recursive function, color coding. Okay, great. So run the app with npm run dev to see the improved. Okay, can we just refresh? Let's test. Let's go back here. Dog string. 
Nyt se on oikeat. Mm, no. So I'm still getting this. Let's see if we manage to fix this. I'm still getting not only the text I'm expecting, but other characters. This is the output I get. I'm just going to paste that. So I think it should display JSON results in an organized, readable format. Which we're not getting. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm fairing. Okay, sweet. Yeah, and I think that just fixed that. So now, if we refresh, and we search for doc training, dust workflow, search now. This don't get sting. Boom. Yep. And our web app, very simple, but works. It wasn't out of the box, but still, very quickly. And I love how it created all these. And yeah, you can just run with it and set things up. And I think with the combination of connecting to things like Mega.com or Nate N, that is super powerful. So let me know what you think below. And the next few days i'll be doing some more tests on this but wanted to record this video as i tested this out for the first time so yeah don't forget to hit like and subscribe and do all the fancy youtube stuff so you don't miss future videos and i'll catch you in the next video cheers